This video is sponsored by Squarespace. This human race is destined for extinction. Welcome back Autobots, Decepticons, and everything in between to another episode of Fixing Transformers. And in today's we're gonna take a look at why Blackout appeared to be nerfed in the final battle of Transformers 2007. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now in the Transformers 2007 movie, Blackout did not hesitate when destroying the Sox and Ford operations base in Qatar. He was able to destroy anything in his path by using sonic waves that seemed to be around 340 feet long. I came to this conclusion since the aircraft that Blackout is destroying is a Boeing C-17A, Globemaster III, which has a wingspan of around 170 feet. And in this scene, Blackout Sonic Blast is around double the wingspan of a C-17, which would be roughly around 340 feet. Now in contrast, during the final battle, when shooting at Ironhide, his blast is only big enough to take out a small car. Same thing can be said when shooting at Lennox and his team. The blast is barely anything. So why did Blackout get nerfed? Well, believe it or not, this was all strategically played out by Blackout himself. And I'll break down exactly how, after a short message from our sponsor, Squarespace. Now Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that lets you create a stunning and beautiful website that you can use for your online presence. Rather that be an online blog talking about alien robots that turn into cars roaming the streets, to an official business, Squarespace has you covered. Squarespace is very user-friendly, meaning you can make the website of your dreams with no coding experience whatsoever. I love that you can add your social media posts to your website, since it's a fast and efficient way for others to find you, along with the embedded video feature showing your videos right on the page. So if any of this interests you, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when your website is ready to go, go to squarespace.com slash trans theories to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And I want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now, as I was saying, the weaker shots were a strategic play on his part. To back my claim up, I'm going to break down all of Blackout scenes in the final battle. Let's first break down the Ironhide scene. Now, there are two reasons why Blackout chose to do a smaller blast. First off, if he used a bigger blast and happened to miss, there would be a possibility that Brawl would get killed, since Brawl was behind Ironhide. And Brawl and Blackout's goal was to try and sandwich Ironhide, Ratchet, and Sam, in the hopes of getting the Allspark. With that in mind, Blackout did not want to risk accidentally missing with a bigger blast, and have it potentially hit Brawl. And in the film, he does miss his first shot on Ironhide. Now, my second point would be, if he used a bigger blast, all the buildings around him would be leveled, which would put himself in danger along with the Allspark being buried. And this circles back to Brawl. Since if he was crushed by a falling building, he would have a hard time getting unstuck, since he only had one arm left, due to Ratchet slicing it off. Now let's move on to the scene where Blackout was attacking the soldiers. Now, a key detail is that before Blackout realizes that the soldiers are there, he pulls out his rotor blade and his chain gun. And the reason for this is quite simple. His plan was to help Megatron fight off Optimus, and shooting off a sonic blast in Prime's direction would also hit Megatron. Hence why Blackout takes out his other weapons. This is also the reason why when he does spot the soldiers, he shoots off a very small blast at them. Since if you take a look at where Blackout is standing, he is surrounded by skyscrapers, and a wave slightly too big would easily level them, possibly killing Blackout in the process. Not to mention, depending on how those skyscrapers would fall, it would have a high chance of interrupting Megatron's fight with Prime, possibly crushing Megatron. So with that in mind, the risk was way too high to use a bigger blast, hence why Blackout had to use a tiny one which made him appear to be weaker in the final battle. And for the folks that side with Blackout and Grindor being the same character, the reason why Grindor did not use his Sonic Blast was because the Decepticons could not afford Sam being killed. 
since they needed him alive, so they could extract the information that the Allspark Shard downloaded into his mind. And since we know that the Sonic Blast can easily evaporate humans, this weapon was definitely off limits when trying to capture Sam. And, just like that, that was why Blackout appeared to be weaker during the final battle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have not already, check out the Fixing Transformers playlist for some more awesome theories. But before I go, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. Without you guys, Trans Theories would not be where it is today. So thank you. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like because it will help the channel a lot. With that said, hit that outro.